89 was a very good year. If you know what I mean, my dear. 89 was a very good year. Everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again today. Today we about to review a sneaker. Oh man, I've been waiting for this shoe for years. I've never had this shoe in my collection at any point that it released. Uh, and uh, when I learned that it was releasing them, oh, uh, I got so excited. I was like, yes, I could finally complete this collection, the four collection of the original four pairs of Jordan 4. But before we get into that, y'all know what to do already. I need you to hit that like button, hit that thumbs up button for your boy, help your boy video grow, get into the algorithm and all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker. Hit that notification bell and sub up to the channel if you haven't already now. You probably read the thumbnail and all that good stuff and see, you know, a couple videos on this sneaker, but your boy got an early look. I did not hit on the shot drop, but I still managed to get a pair. You see the box, black top, John Jumpman flight underneath there. You got your, your splatter or your little salt and pepper down at the bottom. Take off top box. You see Nike Air on top in black, and there is the box label. If the camera would focus, please. And look underneath the box. This is what your box should look like. Be careful. I know there's rumor to have a lot of pairs, but people will still try to make fake pairs and get off on you guys. So make sure you do some research on who you're buying these early sneakers from. I'm going to read the label. It says Air John 4 Retro and the color is off-white military blue and this is a US size 14 and I'm not sure what these going to retail lads. I think 210, 215, something like that. Here's your box lid all red and here's a look at your paper. You got that little splatter on your paper right there and it's smooth on that splatter side and it's rough on the other. Uh, let's see, no YCM sticker in the box, so this is a nice and sturdy box, but I am so happy to have this sneaker in my collection, guys. All you guys just don't know, but let's get into it. Here we go, guys. For the very first time since 1989, we have the military blue fours in the original colorway that they came out with in 1989 with the nike air on the back now listen closely to what i say i know these retro a couple times like 2012 and 2009 but those were a different shade of blue but the military blues that we received in 1989 was just like this off white and this was the blue the other blue that came out in 2012, it may be a lighter blue or even a nicer blue, but this is the original military blue. So we wanted the originals. Nike took it back to 89 to complete us with the pack. Let's get into it. This sneaker is made on an all off-white base. The base is off-white. That's why that white ain't just popping because it's off-white. Give you guys a closer look at that off-white. If I will, there you go, let me fix my lighting. Yeah, this off-white base, you got your all-white, uh, your little extenders right here, your military blue, little lace waffle right there. You got your white netting, and you also have that military blue behind there. Your mud guard is a, a light gray, but that material is a nice smooth new buck. It's smooth like a ball fade on the day you get your hair cut. And we're going to look at this midsole. It is a polyutherane midsole. You got your military blue hit right there. You got some off-white right there. Military blue again. 
you have a visible aerosol unit, clear bubble, you got the off-white inside, you got a little bit of that tech gray at the bare, I'm sorry, at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. You got your Jordan 4 outsole, your military blue color right here, Nike branding right there. You got your uh, herringbone traction. You got your stars at the tip of the toe underneath. And you got some off-white underneath there. And bam, yes, we do have the Nike Air on the back for the first time since 1989. That was a great year. The Jordan 4s came out. And we're going to look at the media side of the sneaker. You got more of that off-white on the sneaker's base. You got your uh, your wing extender, your, your white netting, and you got your military blue behind there and on your little waffle. And you got the uh, tech gray new buck right here on your mud guard. And the quality of leather on here is pretty uh, good in my opinion on my pair. I didn't notice any flaws on my pair, but they came out pretty good. Uh, again, on the midsole, polyutherane midsole, visible air sole unit, clear bubble, white inside, off white inside that is, military blue going there, and lift, give you a closer look at that toe box, excuse me, you have your widow peaks, one here and one there, you have the white netting all the way up to right there, you got the military blue underneath, these only come in one set of laces, you got these off white flat laces, that's why they look a little dingy to you guys. They are off-white. So don't go to the store complaining, saying that the people giving you Johns with dirty laces. No, that's what the off-white colorway looks like. You have a off-white woven patch right here. You see that Jordan Jump Man, that military blue, flight in black. And we're going to turn around. Military blue. You got that Air Jordan... Uh, woven patch on here and you have a tech gray sock liner and uh we do have tissue come stuffed on the inside let's see yep the insert slides right out this is what your insert should look like military blue insert nike air sticker men size 14 on the back dream cell And let's see, can we get a uh, production date with these? Cause I know everybody knows somebody that got predictions on numbers, but we not sure what the numbers are at this point, but we just gonna go with what Nike blesses us with. But we do have a USI 14 and the production date is September 6, 2023 to November 17, 2023. So about two months of production with the pairs I got from uh well this pair here, whatever warehouse this pair was made in. That was the production on that. Fit on these, I wanted a 15, but my store didn't have a 15. So I took the 14 and maybe I can side swap. Because for me, lately, Jordan 4s, even with the SVs, the 14 fit, but I have no room. They fit too exact. I don't like my shoes exact. I need just a little bit of toe room, just about that much. And that's why I need the size 15. So if you guys want your shoes snug, go through the side. If you need a little rum like myself, go up a half a size. But this is the 2024 version of the Jordan 4 Military Blue. The release date is May 4th. May the force be with you. The day before Cinco de Mayo. So you gotta do your leg work to get them. Uh, I haven't seen them on any raffles at the time of recording this video, but stay tuned, it's coming. So let me know what you think of this sneaker. What's your plans? I know some people wanna get multiple pairs. I love to hear that story as well in the comment section, but I gotta go. And like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.